when we came by it the first time, that's where I, th I thought it was a log. On their last sale of the season, Dale Hanshar, his wife Colleen, and their neighbor Myrna Germain Brown saw something shocking beneath Okanagan Lake's surface. Nice easy breeze cruising out across the lake and we saw something in the water. And as a boater, I was just looking, you know, is this something dangerous that needs to be marked so somebody doesn't run into it? We went by it. It looked like a log in, down into the water, but didn't look quite right. That's when they snapped a photo. It wasn't until we got home, we got looking at it and zoomed in on it that we, we were like... Puzzled. The horns are three, those, what, if, if we can yeah. call them that, so the if, nodules. Yeah. Oh, at least three feet. And then it goes out from there. And, oh, it would have been that big. And that's why I thought if it was Ogopogo sleeping, I don't want to be here. Now we've shown the photograph to our expert and he was surprised by what he saw. However, he does have a theory of what it could be if not the legendary lake monster Ogopogo. I am not going to lie. As soon as I opened up, I did have a moment of, of hesitation like, whoa, this is not like something I've seen before because you immediately see the horns. And a lot of classic depictions of lake monsters, people will note horns of some type at first glance it does appear to be monstrous looking that you're looking at some head but you know taking into consideration um being able to zoom in and the coloration and you know the location in which a head would naturally be in relation to a, a leg or a wing um it, it it appears to be some sort of aquatic bird whether it be a, a goose or a duck or something like that. Whether a duck, a goose, or Ogopogo itself, the photo continues to keep the legend of the mysterious lake monster alive and well. Sydney Morton, Global News, Kelowna.